Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Fauna Rose YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Megan and I'm the owner of Fauna Rose. I mostly make scrunchies, aesthetic glassware, keychains, macrame, a whole bunch of goodies like that. And in today's video, it's just going to be a little short bonus video where I am prepping for my spring launch, which I'm very excited about. And I'm going to be showing you some of the goodies that are going to be launching tomorrow morning. The collection goes live at 9am GMT time, I believe it is, British time. So 9am tomorrow when this video goes live. It's currently Wednesday and I have been doing bits and bobs prepping for it here in there. I've also been just trying to get on top of things so attempting to organise and tidy my studio and my office because it's a disaster as well as restocking items getting the new items ready i have had some of these items available for a short while i've been taking them to makers markets and things and they've gone down a treat which is really really exciting so i will show you guys the items shortly that will be available to snap up tomorrow i'm so excited i hope you guys are as well i'm going to insert some clips here of what i have been up to and i hope you enjoy the little behind the scenes of prepping for a launch with me
Just doing some macrame macrame whatever you want to call it i'm running quite low on some of my bracelets i don't make them that often because they don't sell that well i don't sell that many of them so i don't always put a lot of pressure on myself to actually like make them but i need to restock some of the olive lanyards olive bracelets the red wristlets i'm not sure if i've got any more in my back stock of the blacks i know for well my sister has very kindly ordered one so i need to see if i need to make some black as well however a bunch of my keychain my motel keychain designs have just arrived so i do think i'm gonna have to to reorder yeah i'm gonna have to reorder a lot more because they're not all here and on top of that jess from prickly pear which is an amazing small business shop in lincoln where my items are stocked she's requested some of these so i need to get some more of these ordered and chase up why not all of them are there <laughs> them done i messed this one up really badly so i'm gonna keep this one for myself which is fine because <laughs> it's fine because this is one of my favorite ones i say this all the time so i'm gonna keep that one for myself because but if you can see there's an error there i've just messed that one up so i've got a few more of these but i am gonna order probably some more of these i only ordered two of these i've already got three of those made up so i might maybe order a couple more of those to go to jess and then I've only got two of these, but I did have two already. So again, I'm gonna order some more of those. I've not got any more of these, so I need to order more of those. I've not got any more of these, so I need to order more of those. And I only have two of this design left as well, so I'm gonna order a bunch more. That's the joys of running a business, is even if you sell a bunch of stuff, you're like, woo, yay. The profit margins are quite small on a lot of my items and the money goes straight back into replenishing them. So these are not a massively profitable item, but people love them. I love having them in my shop. I think they're really cool. So that's why I do them.
very worse for wear because it's the crack of dawn. Just woken up, I've got a splitting migraine, so please ignore how bare-faced, no eyebrowed and naked I look looking for. I am currently in arguments with my supplier <laughs> because I'm launching the keychains uh, tomorrow when this video goes live and a lot of people have pointed out and we have noticed that there is a grammatic slash spelling error in the most popular design. Which is great, especially because I just sat and made a bunch more yesterday. You can go to place a new order and choose it. I will let our factory make it in the correct spelling for you. Oh, amazing. <laughs> it's this design. And obviously, can you see it? Can you see the typo? The apostrophe is in the wrong place. So where it says it's fine at the top, the apostrophe is in the wrong place. So funnily enough, I was like, it's fine. I can just like cut that bit of the design because it's UV DTF. So I don't print that design myself. I buy them in. This is the issue with working with suppliers, buying stuff in errors happen, miscommunications happen and the supplier has been adamant that there is nothing wrong with the design. <laughs> so instead of sadly one of the designs is like spelled incorrectly, is it possible to like change it? And they then sent me a picture of it saying, do you mean this one? So I said, yeah, that's the one I really love the design, but grammatically it is incorrect, I'm afraid. And they were like, no, it's not. I was like, yes, it is. And they were like, but those people love it. It's one of our best sellers. I'm like, I get that but it's still spelt wrong <laughs> and then I got told well you should check each design before you place an order I get that yes I should have checked it but it's also not my job to make sure you're spelling stuff correct <laughs> so they just said it's fine like we'll give the feedback back to the company did you want to like reorder it if it was spelled correct I was like yeah 100% I just thought I'd give you a realistic in the moment what's happening so the ones that are going to be going live tomorrow are going to be on sale because I don't want to waste them anyway I've got a lot to do today, I'm going to be popping out, I've got to go to the gym, I've got to go and push leaflets through doors for our market because it's in a couple weeks time. And then I will get back to you guys hopefully looking a lot more put together than I do currently. it's 10 past one now what a morning <laughs> i've been trying to do everything i can to spread the word about our creative makers market which i know isn't the point of this video i'm supposed to be prepping for my launch <laughs> but it's kind of hard to just do the one thing when you have a million things to do so i went to the gym and i took those two orders with me so diane and julia thank you guys so much i'm so grateful for you both honestly you have put multiple orders in you're very supportive watch the youtube and everything i'm grateful got family members everything i'm very grateful for you both so i took them with me and then i drove a short while and pulled up somewhere and did the thing that I absolutely hate and went and posted a huge amount of leaflets through doors. I just really don't like doing it and what we don't understand is how you are not allowed to hand leaflets out in the street. If you don't know this, I know some people have never heard of this and they say oh that's not a thing. It is a thing. Check your local councils, check your advertising laws and stuff. 
it is a thing, especially here in the UK. You're not allowed by law unless you have permission from the council or you have a specific license to go and hand out leaflets in the street. So I can't go to my local town and just pass leaflets out to people. You're not allowed to. However, you are allowed to go and push them through people's doors, which makes no sense to me. I don't understand why walking onto people's premises, pushing leaflets through people's doors, I don't know why that is allowed, yet you can't just be walking through town just going, oh, can I give you one of these? Can I give you one of these? It's very odd. Yeah, I would much rather do that, much, much rather do that than have to go to people's houses and push them through the door. And it's awkward because every house is different, every post box is different, everyone's got pets, but I did it. The amount of steps I've done already today is disgusting. I think that's over a thousand leaflets gone out and I've just ordered some more, which my bank account because I need to get the word out there for this market. I've been editing and doing some computer work and stuff because I'm trying to get this vlog done and ready for Friday. I've just had some really fun leaflets arrive because I'm going to be attending the Lincolnshire Makers event. I'm doing Stoughton? Stout Stoughton. I don't know how to pronounce it. Stoughton Woods Bomber. So this is the leaflet that Jodie sent me. Jodie's from the Lincolnshire Makers. She's honestly incredible. And then this one I am so desperate to get into this event. I don't know if I've got into it or if I will get into it, but I really, really hope so. Lots happening, lots going on, but I need to focus on this launch. So while I've got my laptop up, I'm gonna edit some of the photos that I took, add them to the listings that I've already started putting on the website, and we'll see how this launch goes. I have no idea. I honestly don't, because it's Easter weekend, so people might be busy. So it's a little bit later on now and as you would have seen in the clips I did try and take a reel and I'm going to sit and edit that and get that out there just so people know and we'll see if anyone is interested if anyone want to buy some of the new goodies or anything that's been restocked I'm really excited but at the same time it's Easter week and I don't know how well it's going to go so even though this isn't like a major big shop launch or anything I'm still quite happy at how prepared I am I'm never this prepared so I just need to remember to actually get up out of bed tomorrow and make everything live and ready to go so hopefully you guys will really enjoy all the new items we shall see how the launch actually goes in next catching that in next week's vlog fingers crossed you guys really like it you'll have to let me know i also need to finish editing this vlog and get it out ready for you all as a little bonus friday video but we've been quite busy behind the scenes so i'm sorry if this video is a little bit random but we've been doing loads of prep for our makers market and i have posted the giveaway so if you want to head on over to the creative makers market page for the giveaway you can win a voucher to spend there i've also got the applications and everything sorted for the next event out so if you wanted to apply and you're in the Lincolnshire area check out all the links down below but i'm going to leave this video here i hope Hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching give it a massive thumbs up leave me a comment down below and subscribe if you aren't all the social media and the website for fauna rose is linked down below so if you want to head on over there and check it out and go and treat yourself feel free all the information for joining the family rose family rose the family members the fauna rose family members is also linked down below if you want to go and get the heaps of extra content but apart from that fingers crossed i'll see some of you guys on the website at 9am tomorrow but if not i'll catch you guys in the next one bye <laughs>